Hi guys. Today I would like to talk about types of vegetarians. People typically think about a diet that does not include meat, poultry, or fish when people think about a vegetarian diet. The popularity of vegetarian diets keeps growing. There are various reasons for pursuing the vegan lifestyle. However, not many people know that there are several types of vegetarian diets. The dietitian breaks down the five different types of vegetarians. I would like to explain the differences and details today. Furthermore, I would like to share some tips to order food in Korean restaurants when you follow the vegetarian diets. I think these tips could be very helpful for those who enjoy plant-based diets. First of all, I would like to show you the types of vegetarian diets. Lacto-vegetarian diets exclude meat, fish, poultry and eggs, as well as foods that contain them. Dairy foods such as milk, cheese, yogurt, and butter are included. Ovo-vegetarian diets exclude meat, poultry, seafood, and dairy products, but allow eggs. Lacto-ovo-vegetarian diets exclude meat, fish, and poultry, but allow dairy products and eggs. Pescatarian diets exclude meat and poultry, dairy and eggs, but allow fish. Vegan diets exclude meat, poultry, fish, eggs, and dairy products, and foods that contain these products. Now, I would like to share some tips for you guys who pursue vegetarian diets. When you visit Korean restaurants, it would be best to avoid ordering soups because chicken or beef stock or broth are often used to make soups here. You should be aware of the dashida, the Korean instant beef stock as well. It can be used for any food in Korea. Ask Emo before ordering the food. Did you know that most fried rice in restaurants contains oyster sauce? They normally put the oyster sauce when they make the fried rice in Korea. Therefore, if you are not comfortable with it, do not hesitate to ask them not to put oyster sauce in your dish. If you don't want eggs, you can mention it when you order the food.